Well, this is where Metro Police says those protesters were brought tonight. Some protesters told us they tried to call and email the city, but after nothing changed, they said they were willing to be arrested to make a statement. Handcuffs! Protesters started at City Hall, marching towards a busy Fremont Street on this holiday weekend. All right, everybody, is this beautiful or what? Protesters say their purpose is peaceful, but their message is strong and they won't back down. I crocheted a bright orange hat so that I don't get run over by traffic. I'm super scared, but uh, you stand up for what's right. Pitching tents, laying down, blocking traffic at Fremont and Casino Center Drive. Some were ready to be arrested. Some people need to start standing up for what is right, whether it's extreme or not. Um, this is extreme measures being taken against us as the people, and I think that we need to fight back. The people here want Mayor Carolyn Goodman and the city to back down on an ordinance that they say criminalizes homelessness. The true crime is criminalizing those for simply existing out here when they're just trying to survive. Rather than offering a direct solution, um, they would rather jail and fine people who are already way too down on their luck, and I don't think that that's right. On the sidewalks, tourists took notice, some pulling out their phones to hit record. I'm down here to have fun. There's a lot of people, there's a lot of children. They don't need to see it. To me, it could be done a little different way. Metro Police warned protesters twice. A standoff on the street between protesters and the police. Step back. There's a sidewalk right there. Then, after 20 minutes, officers on foot moved in. Hey! Most got out of the way. Police arrested a dozen people. Protesters continued chanting as they waited to be taken to jail, saying the homeless shouldn't be handcuffed. They'll wear them instead. And Metro Police is not sure if the protesters brought here will be cited or released. Now, tonight, we also reached out to the city amidst all of this. They said they have no comment. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.